Hello everyone! In this episode I will show you how I've made this little portrait of young Minto that I've purchased the other day. A very nice character with a very nice outfit and I thought, you know, I'll show you the behind the scenes process. I hadn't looked at this product at all, so all I did was load the character in, the base character, having a look at some outfits and available colors and what this would look like. So at this point all I wanted the character to be is a little bit outraged because she's just found out that her favorite NFT project got scammed and, you know, I wanted to put a little speech bubble on this portrait as an option to say, hey, scam alert, this is the scam website, don't go there. So I'm having a look around at the expressions here and also fiddling with the jumper a little bit, the sweater that has several adjustment options. But as I did, as I said, I didn't know the product, so I'll just play it around with it. I really liked it. Glasses and a bit of hair. And this is the Rin hair from the Rin character. Also important, camera perspective. So I'm turning my viewport into a camera here and then I'm zooming in a little bit. So I think uh, the focal length I'm using is about 120 to 150 millimeters. Quick adjustments on the eye so that they look straight at the camera and also I'm using a bit of a Dutch angle here so I'm tilting the camera around and this is what it looks like with initial lighting and I'm just trying out different options to see what I like. Eventually I settle on a darker background I do like that but at that point I realize there's too many mismatching colors in the picture so we've got the blue hair we've got the red outfit and we've got the black background that's a little bit too much for me so I thought maybe I'm going to try out the darker options so that we have kind of a darkish image and I've settled for this dark sweater that also means it would probably look better with dark hair color and so we only have two colors in the picture black as well as red this is DeForce, of course, going a little bit wrong if geometry intersects with one another, but you can always stop the simulation beforehand and then uh, settle on the frame that works best for the draping, which is this one here. So there we go, blue hair changed into black hair. The Rin hair clip in the hair also changed to red. So now we have just one color scheme, which is black with red accents. And that kind of works really well with the lighting that I've chosen here. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, I think the character would separate better from the background if we had some kind of a catch light from the back. So I'm setting that up as well as a bit of depth of field here. This is now blurring out her shoulders and really putting the emphasis just on the eyes. So to fix that problem with the backlight, all I'm doing is I'm positioning one spotlight that comes straight from the back, kind of half height that illuminates her shoulders and shines a bit through the hair. At this point, it's a little bit trial and error to figure out the correct angle, but I think we're pretty much there. Also, adjustment in the parameters, go strong and don't be afraid to, for it to be very harsh. I'm adding a vignette here that is just blurring the outsides of the image and takes a little bit of intensity off that before it's on to the next step, which is adding that speech bubble in Clip Studio Paint. So I wanted it to say scam alert. I kind of noticed that I didn't have the right font installed, so I'm, I'm doing that. And then I thought, hey, maybe the speech bubble could be more like an outraged speech bubble. And then it says scam alert. That's on my YouTube community tab, together with a link to the fake website. And this is the final portrait without the speech bubble. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.